all right guys so first of all check the links in the description down below so and go ahead and download all of these files so this is a pretty complex video and make sure that you won't miss any part of the video you have to watch the video till to the end and also uh, this uh, as I said that's a complex video and you have to follow the step-by-step -step instructions especially if you're coming from the stock ROM uh, the Android 8.1 on me even so then installing Android Pi is right now pretty pretty uh, complex so anyway just go ahead and download all of these files from the links in the description and once you're done so you need to a uh, copy the some of the files to your external SD of your device so I recommend an SD card for this video so anyway so just go ahead and uh, select the lineage OS 16.0 the magic module as well as the open G apps as well as a TWRP installer and the vendor image file. So just go ahead and copy all of these files to your external SD card. All right, so once you're done copying all of these files, then go back to the A folder and now you can see there are two files one is a platform tools another one is a twrp a fast boot only just go ahead and extract that file and then you can see the boot.recovery image file then go ahead and again extract the a uh, platform tools and now you can see the new folder here and then inside that you can see there is a main folder which is called a platform tools just go ahead and drag and drop these platform tools folder to the desktop for easier navigation now go ahead and drag this boot.recovery image file into this platform tools folder. So this platform tools folder contains the ADB as well as the fast boot commands which are kind of required to unlock the bootloader as well as to boot into the TWRP recovery. So anyway, so on the address bar just go ahead and type the CMD. So this is going to uh, instantiate the command prompt onto the current working directory which is where all of the files are located. All right, so switching back to the uh, camera view, so make sure that your device has sufficient battery. Then you go to the system about phone and tap on bill number for a couple of times in order to activate the developer option. So as you can see, I'm running the Android 8.1. And then if I go to the developer options inside that, make sure that you should enable this option. It's called OEM unlocking. And then you need to enable the USB debugging. So just go ahead and take up the USB cable and hook up to your device. Now inside the command prompt if you type this command called ADB devices and immediately on your phone you can see this prompt just go ahead and allow this from your computer and then type this command called ADB reboot bootloader so this is essentially going to boot your device into the fast boot mode you can either try to use a power as well as a volume down to boot into the fast boot mode so anyway so when you are inside the fast boot mode the first thing on your computer you have to do is make sure that you type this command called fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected to your uh, computer properly. Then type this command called fastboot OEM unlock. So for the first time if you're unlocking the bootloader, so this is essentially going to be a wipe all of your internal storage of your device and then you need to put the device back to the uh, fastboot mode again. Then type this command called fastboot boot and boot-recovery.img. So if you press the return key and then this is going to a uh, flash the uh, recovery image it's not going to be flash it's going to be built into the twrp uh, uh, on your device so just go ahead and take off the usb cable now and now as you can see that device is uh, booted into the twrp so when you're inside the twrp so you can first you need to flash the twrp zip file so if you don't have an sd card you can use the usb cable and connect it to your computer and transfer the files to your device so you can do whatever you want to so I recommend just go ahead and do it uh, copy all of the files onto your external SD so then go ahead and select the a TWRP installer with TSOT manager just go ahead and swipe to confirm flash once you are done just go back to the home screen then select the wipe option and then select the format data and type yes for the first time if you are doing this and you may encounter some of the issues like this and if you see all of these red lines and then go back to the reboot again then click on the recovery this is going to uh, reboot back to the recovery and repeat the task one more time this time and if you try to do it and this is going to format the data partition properly then go ahead and click on advanced and then click on the TSOT manager 
and then select this option and then click on next and then select the repartition. This is going to repartition your device. Once it's done, just go ahead and select the Reboot TWRP. One more time, you need to go to the Advanced TSAP Manager and select this option and then click on Next. If you select the repartition again, if you see for the first time like string user data, then you don't need to repeat this at two times. Then select the single boot and then click on Next. Once everything is done, just go ahead and select the Reboot TWRP. And now this time we need to flash the vendor image file. So for that, just go ahead and select the install option and change the mode to the image mode. Select the vendor image and then choose the vendor image partition and swipe to confirm flash. Once it's done, just go ahead and select the mount and make sure that you have mounted the system data as well as the vendor partition. Then select the Lineage OS zip file and swipe to confirm flash. This is probably gonna take a couple of minutes, sit back and relax and don't interrupt anything. All right, so once it's done, just go back to the home screen. Again, you need to go to the mount and make sure that you have enabled the system, data, as well as the vendor partitions. This time, select the Magisk module and swipe to confirm flash. Once everything is done, select the reboot and reboot back to the recovery one more time. And then again, go to the mount, make sure that you enable system data as well as the vendor partition, select the install, and last but not the least, flash the OpenG apps. And that's it, and finally, reboot of the system. And that's it, and we have successfully done flashing the Android Pie based on Lineage OS 16.0. And at this moment, the Lineage OS 16, I mean, based on Android Pie, is uh, stable and everything is working properly. The phone data, the phone calls, the browsing, everything works fine and there are no crashing at all. And yeah, so if you have faced any issues like the boot loop or something, you got a soft break your device or stuck at somewhere else, I made a dedicated video on how to get back to the stock Android. Uh, on your any Xiaomi device just go ahead and watch the video to fix any kind of issues on your device So that's essentially going to be help you to go back to the normal uh, ROM on your device so that's pretty much it and as you can see that and it's successfully booted properly without any problem and Now if I go to the uh, settings and app, I, everything works fine And if I go to the about phone and you can see that it's running on Android uh, 9.0 and that's it and thanks for watching and this is KSK signing off.